the sound that it makes, the fact that it was created in the country where I was born in, and also the fact that my father is one of the people that helped develop the instrument. Those are the things that really make that instrument so special to me. I'm a second generation steel pan player, steel pan builder, and uh, according to you, steel pan designer. Basically, my father was my role model. You know, he's my tutor. He's like one of the designers. He was born in 1931, and he saw the steel pan in its infancy for the first time when he was about eight years old in the, uh, in the town of Baratario where I was raised and he was also raised there. So I learned from my father and I had to basically take uh, the techniques and procedures that he taught me and apply it to my, the instrument I was making for myself. You know, so it was pretty challenging, but very rewarding at the same time. Steel Pan was created back in the early 1930s, um, South America. And it was created uh, based on necessity. The, um, eman the children of the emancipated slaves on the island of Trinidad and Tobago, they had no uh, formal instruments. You know, drumming was outlawed. Um, they had no money to buy, like, you know, saxophones and trumpets, that sort of thing. Just by chance, actually, banging on a can, you know, cans of different sizes. He eventually realized it was, you know, over time making a different sound just by hitting it. That uh, led to a bit of experimenting over time, you know, different sizes of drums and that sort of thing. In that setting is where the steel pan was born. Most steel pan musicians in Trinidad, especially in the era I was, I was raised in and my father was raised in, we just played music by rote. You know, they didn't read and write music. So it's always been an ambition for me to get that formal music education. CCRI, apart from the uh, amazing cost of the education here, it's um, the only community college in this general vicinity that offers a music program and was willing to accept me as a steel pan player, a steel pan musician because they don't actually teach steel pan, but they teach the theory that I can apply to the steel pan. So the fact that the cost is really affordable and uh, the, the only school in the area, community college in the area, that's actually offering a music program. Those were a couple of the factors that um, led me here. Uh, to CCRI. If I have any advice for anyone interested in pursuing a steel pan, go for it. Go for it. Give me a call if you like and uh, pursue it. Pursue it just like you would pursue any other instrument, a violin or a guitar, you know, because you get what you put into it. <laughs>